Understanding the complexity of humans, understanding how we're all different is possibly one of the greatest challenges we face as a species. All of us have unconscious bias and all of us judge. We'll judge something based on that little information that we have. It's about navigating the dangers of diversity. Things that we don't understand, things that are foreign to us, strange. So we're not saying don't judge, actually we're saying come and unjudge. The Human Library is a safe space where people that volunteer to be an open book for you, the reader, have personal experiences and answer your questions. What all our books have in common is they are able to challenge the stereotypes, help you hear from the horse's mouth. What's it like to be a refugee? What's it like to live life as transgender? What's it like to be a police officer? Where do you go at night when you're homeless? How do you live a life with HIV? I've been a part of this for uh, six months. I've met a lot of people, amazing people. It's a very great opportunity to reflect about my condition. It's something that I can use to help others. Keeping an open mind towards the people that look different from us until we get to know them is healthy. By reading about people you agree or disagree with, by getting insight to the way they think and why, I can better put my puzzle together. I saw how strong and powerful the library is. It's the only place that's so inclusive that everybody's welcome. It's a perfect wrapping around a safe space to have a very, very personal conversation with a stranger and get to know about them. I don't want to just be known as the guy who's schizophrenic, but then again, I don't want to hide it either. I don't want to you know, make it a big forbidden thing we can't talk about. A reading is really a conversation where one person volunteered to be an open book and share their experiences. And it's up to you as a reader to engage and get those questions in there. Because if you don't, the conversation might just dry out. Actually being here and speaking to the person was so interesting and we got to ask him whatever we wanted to ask. I get questions from the reader, so I get a new perspective on my story as well. Just show up and try to do your best, and if you have any questions, just ask. I live with schizophrenia, but that does not mean that I live with some kind of label that defines me. I'm still me, and, and the Human Library has helped me realize that and, and actualize that. It's about giving a voice to those groups in the community that rarely have a voice. They're being excluded because they're different. We need to stop fearing that difference and make it a resource for us. Strength can come from our diversity, but only if we embrace it.